Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So what you can see in my hand there is a 90 degree V-bit. We're going to put him to work here in just a second. But before we begin, I want to remind you of the September giveaway. Find that video on the channel and enter to win and good luck, I hope you win. Now what I'm doing here is something totally different. I've never done this before and it's basically taking a photograph or an image from your computer and loading it into the CarbCo software and allowing the machine to carve an image into a piece of wood. Now what happened here was I realized that I had zeroed the machine too high on the stock. So this is no good. We'll call this attempt number one. Right there I was that much too high. Thumbs down, let's try again. So now in attempt number two, we did a little better this time. We've got the zero where it belongs. We'll let the machine run back and forth and it creates a shadow line effect. The bit is barely grazing the top. It light passes, it plunges and goes light and plunges and goes light and it creates the shadow to create the image on the surface. This one came out a whole lot better than try number one. All right, there you have it. Lisa and I party time video. That was a thumbnail from our mask video that you could check out. It didn't come out too bad. Now these things are designed to be looked at from a distance. It makes it easier to see the image. And we'll call this here try number three. Now I realized on try number three that your Z height, or when you zero the machine, it's extremely important to be very very accurate as you can see here in the third carving it came out a whole lot nicer the incredible thing about these little carvings is the way the light impacts the surface of the carve changes what you're able to see up close you can't see much but when you back out and the light changes you can start to see all of the detail in the carving itself so, all right, folks, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.